you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. Hello, welcome to Relax the Podcast. Hi. I'm Colleen Ballinger here Hi, with Colleen. my husband, Carrot Eric Stocklin. Do you know Maisie still calls you Carrot? Uh, thank you for that uh, lovely introduction. And no, I didn't. I haven't heard her say in a while. She said it to me the other day. She was like, I'm Maisie Stocklin, your mama, Colleen Stocklin. Dada is Eric Carrot Stocklin. She calls you <laughs> Eric Carrot Stocklin. Uh, anyway, welcome love that. to the newest episode of Relax I the Podcast. I think it looks so professional in here. We had to move locations for this week, possibly for next week too, just while it's... Because uh, there's a heat wave? Yeah, just during this weird heat wave we're having. An actual one. It's weird that there's a heat wave at the same time as some people call like the summer thing. It's weird that they, we have a heat no, wave. No, that's you were saying that earlier in the summer, but now it's like an actually, it's like it's been way hotter than it typically is. I know, but it's just been this heat wave for too long. We don't it's have like we don't have air time. conditioning in that other room. Yeah, so we moved into here because yeah. um, it's literally like 120 degrees in the other room where we podcast. So we moved into my little office space where there is air conditioning. Yeah, and that's where we're podcasting from today. It's nice. It's so cutesy, huh? It's great. Um, we have a lot of fun stuff to talk about. We're going to get to some of your comments. Sure. I looked at comments. But um, we have a couple apologies to make. We do? Yes. All right. First and foremost, most importantly, I want to say sorry because we definitely keep saying we're going to drive to Sonic oh, and yeah. we never do. Well, it's it's to, far. It's two, The closest one is two and a half hours away. Mm-hmm. And we have children. So it would have to be like a full day that we take off from like work and our kids and all that. Sounds terrible. Well, it actually kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> like to go get, just to go get Sonic kind of does sound like not oh. great. Oh, no, I was being sarcastic because we get to get away from our kids. <laughs> ah! Well, yeah, I guess and so. I, and I but, have all this list of uh, people commented what to get there. I know. I've compiled know. a list. There's going to be many things that I'm going to have to try. I know. Maybe we just sit in the parking lot for the full day for for lunch and dinner. And like we eat lunch and then sit there and then wait until dinner to have the next meal. Because yeah. how are we going to eat it all in one meal? I'm just going to have but to yeah. take little, little nibs. I am sorry, guys. We have not yet gone to Sonic. We do want to do it and we do plan on doing it. But every week is not the right week. This week was certainly not the right week. Yeah. So anyway. So uh, sorry. I am sorry because I keep, I, I'm getting comments now on my vlog channel about it. People on my vlog oh, channel okay. are like, hello, like, when are you going to Sonic? Yeah. Like, when are you driving? We're so excited for the episode where you go to Sonic. Like, people are excited for us to have a road trip and uh, go get some Sonic. So we got to do it There's soon. There's one in Connecticut, apparently, relatively close to my parents' house. Really? hmm And you didn't think it existed. I, like, it's new. It's new since I moved okay. away. Um, um, and the, we're back there. the other apology that needs to happen is from, it needs to happen from you. Okay. But we'll, we'll talk about that later because it has to do with some of the comments. Yeah. Yeah. yeah are you, I, I, but I don't know what you're talking about. Oh I have to apologize gosh, for Oh you don't? I guess I didn't see this one. Okay. Well, we'll get to that. But first let's talk about who needs to relax. Do you okay. have a, do you have a relax? I have two. I do too. We both have you two. You want to go first? We can take turns. Okay. Okay. You want me to go my first one? Sure. My first relax thing that I think needs to relax this week is I, okay. I don't know if we've talked about this before. Maybe we have, but I don't think so. The smell of hand soap in public restrooms, I think is so atrocious. The smell of hand soap in public restrooms. Like if you go to any restroom and any, like if a store, just like out and about anywhere, a (laughs) restaurant, Anywhere you go, if you wash your hands after you go to the bathroom, mm-hmm. the soap smells the same. It's like some like bulk soap that every store is supplied or something. Yeah, it's they probably all go to the same place. From, like, from an industrial supplier, I would imagine so. It reeks. I like hate. What? I don't know what the scent is. It smells like public bathroom. It smells uh, like bathroom. Uh huh. And so I hate washing my hands in public restrooms because then my hands smell like a dirty bathroom the rest of the day. And every time I get a whiff of it, I want to vomit. I hate it so freaking much. Yeah. You don't feel this way? I don't. Um, but I, I, this tickles me a little because like, I know that there is some part of you, your, your anatomy that when you are in like a public store or place, you immediately have to go to the bathroom. So it's kind of funny the, how much, wait, what you, you, if you ever go to like a Michael's, 
oh, a yeah, target. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you go to the bath. You like you go to the bathroom. Yeah, there. I just haven't been to one of those in a long time. But yes. Um, so it's, so it's funny to me because yes, you must be washing your hands a lot in stores and places because that happens to you. Well, yeah, but I. Um, I yeah, I haven't been one of the. I haven't had that experience, like a a bathroom experience in a long time. Um, but just mm -hmm. restaurants and stuff. Like I feel like it was recently we went somewhere where I. I, it was some restaurant or something where I went to the bathroom and washed my hands. And I was like, so sad because the rest of the night, my hands smelled like total butt. Yeah. I'm thinking about like the soap, the hand soap at my gym. Mm -hmm. Cause that's like the, where I would most frequently be using that. Um, and you know, I have, I have another issue with soap besides the smell. I'm not really on the smell train. It doesn't bother me that much. It does. What? Now that I think about it, it does kind of smell like the gym bathrooms, like the soap. It literally just smells because like bathroom. Well, Cause that's where I'm using it. Uh, you know, the, the locker room or whatever. But like, I, when did we switch from like, this is soap. This is what we call soap with okay, their bars. And then evolution happened and they're like, this is soap. It comes in like a kind of liquidy lotiony gel, gel kind of form. And then at some point in the last decade, they were like, no, it's, it's a dollop of foam. Yeah. That the UK that doesn't do anything. It does. It's not, it's never enough. Like airport, like you have to do the sensor and it goes, and it's just like a little bit of foam. Mm -hmm. Cause that's how it is at the, at the, the gym too. It's not good. Mm -hmm. No more foam soap. Do they sell, I don't do mind they, the foam soap. I actually you don't? Uh-uh. I don't mind the foam soap. I actually like it better because... It <laughs> bothers me so much that you don't agree with me. <laughs> well, it bothers me so much you don't agree with me on the smell. I think you're just dis saying you like foam no, soap no, no, just because no. I didn't say that so soap <laughs> no, stinks in public. No, I actually think it's like kind of lovely if you get like a good one. Not in a public restroom. Public restroom soap, all versions of it are garbage. Foam hand soap yeah, is like a, lovely? It is. Like if you go to like Bath and Body Craziest Works and you get like said. the cute little like soaps that smell so yummy and like the little pump that makes it all foamy. It's so cute. Do they, they have even that have for your home? They do, right? Yes. You can buy that yeah i bought oh. it yeah and i know even, i dislike when you buy it well i i i they even have cute little ones where like it pumps foam in like a shape for your kids like it can pump the foam soap out into like the shape of mickey mouse or something into your that hands that doesn't no it can't yes it does they have that the, i'm serious you can't what how, how do they control you can't control foam well, they do. Someone does. <laughs> cannot be controlled. I like it because... Into, into Mickey Mouse? Can I tell you why I like the foam? That's a lie. I'm going to tell you why. I don't... It's not that I like love it or something. It's just that I like it better than the other alternatives. I Bar soap is the poison of the earth. Like, no one likes bar, bar soap. Bar soap, like, doesn't... It, what, it, like, hardens after a while. Then it, then it just becomes like a rock. Like, it's not... It doesn't you have to work. wet it. No, even if you wet it. The last time I bought bar soap, it, like... I grew up... I grew up in an Irish spring household bar oh, your whole family shared a bar the no <laughs> it was this is that that's, is wild that's that they abuse trauma <laughs> <Love Like, it. laughs> that that's oh, wow i just i just recalled that i haven't thought your about whole that whole family time. shared a bar of just dented and hairy irish oh, get out of town okay so bar soap is the the lowest yes and the next one, the gel kind of one, like, I feel like at home is, is fine. But when you're in like public restrooms, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. There's no, I haven't had many experiences with the, with the gel kind where it's like automatic. So you have to touch the thing Yeah. and it's gross. Like, I don't want to touch anything when I'm in those bathrooms. The foam one squirts it out into your hand for you. So you don't have to touch anything. That's why I like it. Since COVID, like every store, every place they, they have, they've put up these, those foam hand sanitizer dispensers. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, I have to have hand sanitized and it's foam. Mm -hmm. um, what drives me crazy is that they're everywhere now, but they're all empty. But you like that better than the gel? No. Or you don't like it better than the gels? No, I'm no. That's wild to me. I want to, the gel because the foam like doesn't, la it doesn't lather. It doesn't do its, it doesn't do its one purpose. It's already purpose. lathered. It's already lathered. The foam is the lather. You have lost the plot. The, yeah, no, that's the, it's lathered. It's because it comes out as foam. Wait, it comes <laughs> it's out lather. As, it's soapy. It's, wait, is it coming out as lather? Yes, it's That's like soapiness. But it, it doesn't feel like it washes your hands. It makes my hands smell. Kind of just blew my mind with it comes out as lather. Does <laughs> it? But it, but still, it's never enough, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't wash your hands. Then get two get two pumps. <laughs> okay, it's, okay, ugh. okay. All right, All right, what's your relax? Um. <sighs> Like I said, I have two. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my first one, and it's kind of aimed at you. Okay, it's gonna sound As like you. This is gonna sound like a gotcha question. Okay, um, but I noticed this recently, and I need to know what it's about because littered about the house mm 
It's lousy with big tubs of Vaseline. What? What are you doing with all this Vaseline? I have not seen Vaseline. Like Vaseline, just anywhere. Vaseline, and like the big tubs Wait, of what, it. What are I you have seen talking about? Three. I have seen zero, and I've never bought a tub of Vaseline in my why, life. Why is it? Why, I where where it? have you seen it? What? Who's using Vaseline? In, in like in your bathroom? There's two. No, absolutely not. There's not. And then in the other bathroom, there's another one. No. And I'm like, why is it just tubs of Vaseline? I swear on everything. I do not. What I, is it even don't, for? Vaseline. People use it for things. I just, when I think of Vaseline, I think of like, there was one episode of like the Tyra Banks show where she like gave everyone Vaseline. Like she acted like Oprah. It's like for, she like, was dry, giving away. Dry skin? I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like people use it for like she, yeah, I think she put yeah, it all over her like, face. Yeah. Is it for dry skin? I, I think it's like an old school, like dry for. skin product. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely don't. I don't use it. And I don't know why you sell it in tubs. But where you, I don't believe that you've seen it all over the house. I could, I could run and go get them. They're right up there. Yeah. In the bathroom above I us, buy, is, I, don't, I don't go in that bathroom. If I didn't buy it, buy it. You bought it. <laughs> I don't want it. I bought it. I really don't. I would I, I, like you, you came to like, you said you were coming for me. I wish I would like used it so that we could have like a funny conversation about this mystery. I literally don't use it and I don't, and I haven't. Okay. Daisy has joined the chat. Gotcha. Hi kitty. Daisy is here. She's like, what are we doing? Are we podcasting? Can I be a part of this? This is her room. She's like, what's different? Whoa. Yeah. She's like, what's going on here? Okay. I will have another relax. And we need to get to the bottom of this Vaseline mystery. Okay. Um, do you want to hear my other one? Or is, yes. Yes. Or is your next one related to? It's not Vaseline adjacent. No. Okay. Um, so the next one. Oh, gosh. I actually have three. I don't know which We're one to do. We're alternating. So let's do one. Okay. So. Unless they're related. This one might. I don't know which one to go for, but I, I'm going to do this one. Okay. So our kids are kids. They they are children, in case you weren't aware. And they. um. They kid things happen to them. They get random colds. They get random rashes, you know, especially when you have little babies, like they're getting diaper rashes all the time. Toddlers, they get random rashes and cuts and scrapes and whatever. Uh -huh. And with our parenting techniques, Eric and I, I tend to be the over worrier um, one. You're the, of the Google two. doctor of the family. The Google doctor, but also the panicker. I want to like rule out every possible like thing that it could be and know everything that it could be and uh -huh. ha like have all my ducks in a row about it. Whereas you're like, nah, kids get a rash. Um, so I, the, what I think needs to relax is I think there should be a, a place that's not Google where like moms can go and be like, Hey, what's this rash <laughs> or something? Because like, I think that's called Facebook. I'm not going to post that stuff on Facebook. I don't know. Maybe it's I just like texting other your mom friends or something. But like Facebook's for because I always like Eric said, I'm the Google doctor and I like Google every symptom, everything that is ever going on with our kids. And so even if it's just like a bump, anything it I want to know. And I have you ever Googled it's a little I know what she's any doing. rash she's going to knock over a cup of water. They, or, no. What did you put a cup of water in this room? That cat you, is oh, a hold on, hold on. I got to go. It's empty. It's empty. Oh. You're fine. Oh my gosh. Okay. She's a professional. There's no cups of water allowed in my office. Water cup Daisy assassin. Daisy loves to knock over water cups. Okay. So what I was going to say is, um, or what I asked you, but you were very distracted by Daisy knocking over water cup. Mm -hmm. Have you ever Googled or tried to Google what a rash, like a specific rash is? Like I always try to be very specific so that I don't have to see anything weird, but I'll Google like small pin sized raised red bump on forearm. Like I will be so specific about what the rash looks like because I don't want to see anything crazy. And it does not matter what you Google. If you type in every specific thing that that rash is, so you are guaranteed to only Where find is, other pictures yeah. of that rash so you can figure out what it is, you will find the most grotesque, horrific, disgusting, decomposing this is gross. rash this bodies. This is grossing me out. It's horrible, but it's like, why do you know? No, no, I, to answer your question, no, I don't and never have. Oh my God, love. It's horrible because I'm have like pediatricians and urgent cares. Okay. But sometimes you need to figure it out before like you yeah. take a whole trip there. Cause you could just be like a common little, like 
a little bug bite or something. You, you need to know if like, oh, is this is this getting infected? Well, you're, is you're this Googling blah, 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 blah. is setting the standard. You know what horror looks like, and you know, you know, like oh it's, my so God, it's kind of it giving you crazy. A, I should that should make you feel better. It's like you're like, whoa, well, it doesn't look like that. So it's probably fine. No, it does I saw not make the, you feel like, better. Wesley had like a little like you know fall over like tiny little bruise on his back from mm-hmm. roughhousing or you know who knows. Mm-hmm. They fall a lot, mm-hmm. but I saw that you had circled it with marker mm-hmm. because I couldn't tell if it was a bruise or if it was a like a rash or something that was spreading. I was like paranoid about it. And so like moms know out there, like sometimes if like your kid gets a rash, you circle it with like a, a pen so you can see if it spreads and how uh, big it spreads. I think we, would, we would do that with uh, ticks were an issue where I grew up. Ticks? Uh, ticks. So we, mm-hmm. we would always get like run around playing in the woods and then we'd get home, like do a tick check and we'd find a tick and you'd have to you'd draw a circle because if it was a deer tick. A deer tick? Yeah. If you got, uh, oh, I was like, you're not gonna be able to think of the word, a Lyme's disease. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. That's, oh my gosh. They're the smallest little things too. Deer ticks are? Uh-huh. And you can't tell the difference between a deer tick and a regular tick? No, you can. Well, they're, it's, they're tiny. It's like really tiny. Oh, I don't know but like, about um, ticks. You would have to watch out for like a red. Oh my! Which you would always get, but like you'd have to watch out for it spreading because that means not good stuff. Oh no! So we would circle those with markers. Yeah. So I do. Well, I, yeah. I didn't have Google then. Well, I did circle a bruise on his back because I couldn't tell. It was a weird color, so I didn't know. But it was just a little tiny bruise. Yeah. Um, but I am like paranoid like that. But yeah, I do Google and search like rashes and and cuts and infections and things to make sure that my kids are okay. Yeah, and I'm, in the I'm, process, I, I have to look at these horrific pictures. Yeah, one of us has to do it, I guess. Well, I think you should be subjected to it as well. I got you for that. I'm gonna. I'm next time I do it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have you look at as well, just so you can see what you I love. It's crazy what comes up. You can Google like literally what's the most common simple little like rash you could get like a rug burn. Not a rug burn. I'm trying to think of something like the most simple, common like mosquito bite. Like you can Google like. Small mosquito bite on toddler's cheek. And they're like, here's photos of the like, black plague. And it's like, here is, <laughs> yes, uh-huh. it's crazy. And it drives me Bubonic so plague. bananas. And I'm just, I, uh, it's, I, I, that needs to relax. Yeah, I'm like, why can't I just fun. Google it? What kind of rash is this? Is this, uh, is this a rash I should be concerned Wasn't about or not? Wasn't this an idea I had for an app called What's Your Rash? Yeah, you did come up with a What's Your Rash what, uh, app. This is like a hundred episodes ago. Yeah, it was a very long time ago. I was like, this is a million dollar idea. I give it freely to the public. Because I wish that, yeah. Okay, that's actually act. great. Because What's this rash? It'd be and nice to be able just, to. You can, you can take a picture of your rash. Mm-hmm. Like, it, like you can do this with like plants. You can identify plants and birds with an app. You can't identify rashes. Yeah, like that would be good because then it could just be like, like I have a rock, I have a rock app where you take a picture of a rock and it tells you what kind of rock it is. Exactly. And then it will say like, did I get this correct? So like you can, if you could take a picture of the rash, upload it to this app, and then the app shows you a a common photo of that rash and goes, is it this? This is what it's called. This is the symptoms. This is what to look out for. And then you can be like, oh no, that doesn't look like it. Try again. And it'll like go to the next closest thing to the picture. Big dermatology doesn't want you to have that technology. They want, anyway, they want that money. Um, yeah. Big derm. Big derm. Mm-hmm. I, Big I derma. Can't that. So what's your next relax, my love? My next is not rash related. Um, and it's pretty specific, but, and it's kind of stupid, but I was thinking about those, um, those, those plastic ties that they have on bread bags. Oh, I hate those things. And I, cause I was like, I don't, I feel like this is the most useless invention, mm-hmm. um, to have, this plastic clip that's immediately lost, lost, misplaced. And you don't, you know, it's worse. You kind of, you can just do a twist and tuck kind of a thing. You know what I hate worse than the, tw- the tie. What's that? The like little square thing with like a little. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, well, cause sometimes it comes with like the actual twisted wire. No, I'm talking about the what, little is, square. what is it? It's called a bread clip or bread tag. I would not tabs, consider that a clip. Bread ties, bread buckles or bread bag. I don't know. There's, this is from, Believe it or not, the bread clip has its own Wikipedia page. So mm. this is where I've been able to do all my research. Uh, so let me tell you. Okay. It was invented in 1952 um, by a man named Floyd Paxton. Okay. He's on a flight and he opened a bag of peanuts, whereupon he realized there was no way to reseal his bag of peanuts on the plane. So... This is how the story goes. He takes a, an, uh, um, 
what's it, what's it called when a credit card goes <laughs> expired credit card out of his wallet and he has a pocket knife and he on a plane and on a plane in 1952 Girl. and he takes this expired credit card and he makes it he kind of carves the little thing himself to close his bag of peanuts um and then this sounds like with BS. a credit card yeah with a credit card he made the first thing on a plane in 1952 and then, uh, you know, next thing you know, you got to deal with some manufacturer of like bread for like a million of them. And wow. he had to invent a way to like make a million of those. And uh, <laughs> his company still exists today and is still like the major for all of North America manufacturer wow. of those um, bread clips. And uh, that's what a what a con. Yeah, I don't like those things. No, he just, he's, that's, that, that man created generational wealth off of that thing. That's crazy. Imagine meeting some kid like on a yacht because he has a yacht. Mm -hmm. Who owns this yacht that we're on? It's like, oh, his, his great grandfather invented the, the bread clip. I just realized something, love. Crazy. The bread clip, when I open, when you, like, when we get bread. Nobody's inviting me of, on yachts, by the way. Sorry. Huh? No one's inviting me on a yacht? Yeah, I'm not, I'd actually never even been on a yacht. I yeah. feel like in that's my storytelling made it sound like I like I'm on yachts all the oh, time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you just randomly were like, no one's inviting you on a yacht, by the way. <laughs> to me, I was like, okay. <laughs> well, they're not. <laughs> um, no, what I was going to say is that I'm just realizing, is the bread clip the only seal when you buy bread? Like when we get a loaf of bread in the house, when I open it, I don't think there's another seal no, involved. It's a, twi it's a twist. That clip. seems not sanitary. What do you mean? Like, I feel like everything these days, like, is sealed and sealed. Like, it's like a box of wheat thins. It's like a sealed bag tight within yeah. a box. You well, know, like, bread, everything is sealed. But bread is just, like, loose in a bag uh, with, like, this clip. Anyone in the grocery store could go and, like, untwist it and just take just it out like, and, like, bread twist and it. And twist it back? Yeah. Don't give these weirdos ideas. I'm just saying, um, like, I feel like I'm just not realizing that maybe that's kind of weird. It's not, like, more well, sealed. Well, there's, like, a... Should it be like vacuum I sealed? Know, I don't know if it's like vacuum sealed or hermetic sealed. It's but it's like they, there's. Have you ever seen like bread that's like freshly baked and then they put in those like they'll appear there'll be moisture, which you don't want. Some moisture then it's. Oh yeah, and they just have an more. open bag. So I don't know if there's like it needs like a like, but I don't think it's getting air in there. But there might be like a flow thing. You know when you get like a like a loaf like a like a baguette mm -hmm. or ciabatta, it's just an open. Sleeve. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's bananas. And I think that's a moisture issue. Not only that, but you know what I remember doing? What? <laughs> in what high school, sometimes I would walk across the street for lunch to the grocery store and uh -huh. I would buy a baguette because they were like a buck. Yeah. And I'd eat a baguette for lunch. Uh, straight up. Genius which idea. I think I'm I, aware. Except, I would do that as a kid, I feel like. But I never had butter, which sucked because just like dry, just dry loaf. Baguette. Anyway. That's fine. Um, Okay, timer. Was that a timer no, or a phone call? It's potential spam. <gasps> answer. <Sure. laughs> Say hello, spam. Who's she? Is it potential spam? It is. You should answer. Potential spam. Are you going to answer? Don't answer. Don't answer. Don't answer. No. Um, okay, wait, hold on. Um, so I would go and get this loaf of bread. And I remember squeezing the breads, like through the bag, of course, not like raw with hand like skin on bread but to see which one was the softest because uh -huh. i wanted like i didn't want a stale one of course yeah but like thinking about that too is kind of gross like everyone's just like squeezing touching. all kinds of all the fruit too all the everyone's fruits? yeah that's why you gotta wash your fruit i think was one more, of the reasons yeah one of the reasons um wow the things we talk about on this podcast are really fascinating yeah people in grocery store it's just pe grocery stores it's just a bunch of people like feeling up stuff squeezing stuff that's kind of weird so I've even seen people knocking on things. Knocking? Oh, I guess like, like on a they melon? walk on watermelons and stuff. I think so. Yeah. Cantaloupe, your favorite? I remember eating grapes in the grocery store, like tasting a grape. And like, and I remember. I think that's stealing. I know. And I remember finding out people, like someone had said, I don't remember how old I was or where I was, but I just remember at one point in my life, someone was like, can you believe people would just like taste a grape in the grocery store? And I was like, What? We're not supposed to like I thought this was oh, something like, everybody maybe, did. I, I want to buy this this open bag again, open bag <laughs> completely of of grapes. Can and you I, test and it to me, see just, which and one you was would good. Just be testing one. I That's, thought this. I know. I thought you were like eating one before I you paid for it. No, I know. I thought no, no. Well, yeah, because then you pick which one you wanted. Like, be like, oh, these grapes or these like, which is a good batch? Because sometimes so you get a batch of grapes home, and they're nasty. When we get home with a, this open bag of grapes, which what's happening here? Why this is open, shredded, all fill, holes all over it? Why? Are, 
All of it. Grapes. Strawberries are just in an open basket. Apples yeah, are just whole, naked completely. Um, but like, so when we get home and you and you open the grapes, like every grape bunch that I've seen, there's like, you know, there's, you can tell where grapes were missing. Are you telling me that someone is, is testing these? Well, maybe there's They've some been, that have fallen off in the bag, but I don't know. I don't yeah. know that this is a common thing. This is just something that I did as a kid. I don't know if my mom did it or something. I'm assuming that's where I learned it from. I don't know if she currently still does this in her life, but I remember finding out that not everybody did that. And I was so shocked and embarrassed. I was like, oh, I guess that is stealing because like I didn't buy it, but I wanted to, yes. you like, I thought you like taste petty, tested all petty the grapes theft. to see That's fine. which ones were like firm and crunchy and sweet and which kind, like which bag you wanted to get. Yeah. I wasn't like eating 20 grapes. It'd be like, you eat one from this bag, one from this bag. Like, oh, I'm going to get this one, you know? Yeah. So I don't know. I, I admit, is that a universal thing? Do people do that out there? I don't do this anymore. I haven't done Do you this. squeeze bread? We're all squeezing bread. I don't know that I do that anymore. I but I don't really it, go to I did the grocery it store. Yesterday. You squeezed bread? Well, I was getting one of those open sleeves of ciabatta mm -hmm. loaf. And you squeezed them. And I, and I, just, I wanted the one that had a little bit of crunch. Like, they're all fresh, but I wanted one that had a little bit of crunch. Crunch? Yeah, man. Get, hold on. No, that, ciabatta, that ciabatta bread's good from that place, but you want, you want it, it's like, those are the best sandwiches where it's like soft on the inside, but a little bit of crunch on the outside. You pick the stale you're one. Gonna, you're going to fight me on bread? On I, bread? I am going to fight you on bread. Love. Do you even know? You do the squeeze and, test and you, know you choose the stale one? Not the stale one, love. That's not what I'm talking about. The one that's that's cooked that has a little bit of crunch. How can you tell if it's crunchy? You hear you hear like a cr like a crack, like a shatter. But not, but it's like also obviously like pliable and it's like. Wait, so you're shattering the bread? You're giving it a crackle <laughs> with your, you're putting thumbprints in bread? Get out of here. Okay. I'm just saying like, I give it the slightest hug with my fingers to see if there's any give or not. <laughs> What's just going to, like this? Just to see. It's the, just lobster hands. Just lobster hands. Just, um, to see if one is soft goes. or hard. Cause I don't want the hard ones. Not a hard one. Not a stale one. If this is like a, like a, like a sandwich roll. Right. And it's like fresh. Like, so that, you know, the inside is, is good. It's nice. It's soft. It's fresh baked today, but like a little bit of crunch in the bread. Come I on. get what you're saying, but I feel like you can't determine that from a, a slight. You're just squeeze. not understanding what I, because I know you like this kind of bread too. Uh-huh. But does I now, now I'm thinking about it. Every time you get bread, it's kind of stale. <laughs> you're so, <laughs> I can't. No, you're like, no. Okay. Well, Don't buy stale uh, bread. I'm not have that in the public record. Okay. We're going to go ahead and read some of your comments now because we have 10 minutes before our babysitter leaves. So we have 10 minutes to read comments. There were a lot of great comments, but this is why I said, Oh yes. Eric needs to apologize and actually legit. Like you kind of for real need to. Okay. Um, I saw a bunch of comments about this. Um, so last week you talked about who needs to relax. Do you remember your, or not last week, it was two weeks ago. We took a break last week. Uh -huh. Um, do you remember who you said needed to relax? Oh, it was just how there was so many hatch chili products. Is yeah. That that what this you about? said the trend. Yeah, I, of yes. Hatch I looked, okay. Well, I, I didn't know. I, and I, and I, this is kind of what I love about like the kind of back and forth, like with this podcast, it's like, I love learning new things and things about people's lives and whatever. And, I, I, yes, I did not know that Hatch is a town in New Mexico and that's mm -hmm. where all these chilies come from. And they have, take a lot of pride in that and they all love them. And it's, it, it seems like a great, cool, like cultural thing to like new, new Mexicans. And I, mm -hmm. and they have a lot of pride in their Hatch chilies. Um, that's awesome. I, you know, and that's great. And, yeah. And I, and I guess I, I was just kind of, con I kind of was, it wasn't like it needs, this needs to relax. I just like, I, I don't like Hatch chilies. I'm, I'm not a fan of like chilies and in, in things. Not a big chili person. Um, so to see it in, in every, like they was like a whole section. Now it makes sense to me because it's the season. Mm -hmm. It's like a seasonal mm -hmm. thing that happens. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I also did see a comment that was like, so I work in a grocery store and yeah, there's, they're in every, they'll put them in, in anything and everything during the, the right. season. Yeah. Well, there were a bunch of comments about your uh -huh. um, dis dislike for, as you said, the trend of hatch chilies. Yeah, I was wrong about that. So, I was wrong about that, yeah. Well, Hannah said, I'm fuming 
at the Hatch Chili Take. I'm from New Mexico. I'm from New Mexico. It's not a fad. Chili has been a part of a New Mexican cuisine for centuries. Hatch is a place in New Mexico, like Eric said. Yeah. They make the best green chili in the world. Sorry you just discovered it, but it's not new. It's not a fad. And it is also not Did mild. It? Come to New Mexico and have some real delicious hot Hatch green chili. You are about to make all of the New Mex all of New Mexico furious. And I saw a lot of people say it's like saying you don't like someone's favorite football team. I, I didn't think they so, were people were. Yeah. I, here's the thing. I actually, when I first moved to California, I drove across the country by myself. I probably said this before, but one of the places that I stopped in was Albuquerque and I loved it. I was like, this place is great. I have like photos. I remember posting them on MySpace of like being like, hey, guys, Albuquerque is amazing. Like I, like I loved it. And then you keep going through there. And then all of a sudden I was in the mountains and there was like snow. It was the only time there was snow on my whole drive was in New Mexico, which I had, I had no idea, like up in the mountains there, my car wouldn't start. That was pretty exciting. Um, so I, I like New Mexico and, and sure, I would love to go there and have, and try like really get into it. I'm sure there's like a festival. I'm sure there's like a hatch chili festival. Well, Sounds I was great. thinking we should try to make, like look up really good recipes uh -huh. using green, ch like hatch chilies and Try to make something. Yeah. And then maybe you'll appreciate right. it. Like, don't knock it till you try. I just, I just like, you know, I'm waiting don't know. for the apology. Love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, I'm sorry. But, you but did, I also, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you did not say it. Well, I'm, I, now you did though. Um, and I, we're sorry that we did not, um, do more research on hatch chilies. I before didn't, yeah, I didn't do any research, but like, that's, that's what I'm saying. But I was able to learn all this because I know, people, Isn't that the best? Uh, yeah. That's, Truly, that's I, I feel like, cool. so I feel like so much of my, growth and understanding as a human being in my adult life um, has been broadened and opened and better because of comments. Like people are like, oh, you said this sentence and that actually is not the appropriate way to say that yeah. thing. Like, you know, people will help me like learn to grow and be better all it's the time. It's weird how like that thing that you're talking about can, can, has the ability to do that and also can be just horrific. Yeah, that's <laughs> and true. be like the, yes. the worst of, of, yes. of humanity. But, but this yeah. was not that. People, I think, were gen genuinely trying to be like, hey, it's right. not a fad. This is like a big part of our culture. No, yeah, I and wasn't it's really saying great. that about this. No, I, oh, I, I meant that. like in general. Yeah, yeah. But it made me, things. but honestly, reading the comments made me go like, uh oh. Eric's got to do his first apology. Well, New Mexico apology. damage control. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and Hatch chilies. not damage control, but I was just thinking, Oh, he's going to have to apologize. And also it, but more so, cause I'm joking about that, but more so I was like, it made me want to try, yeah, yeah, yeah. try it. So now I'm like, I really do want to look up recipes and try to figure out the best recipe of something. Yeah. With, including I, I mean, I get it. Cause for where I, um, went to high school and college in New Haven, I'm like, I'm the biggest pizza snob and like, yes. And like pizza. To, Rightfully I, was just, so. I was just thinking, I was like, well, what is, I don't, like I'm kind of jealous that they have that because I don't really have that. And I know in like a place in California, that's like where they grow the garlic and they have like a garlic festival and like the, there's, there's, these things exist. Um, I was like, what is that for me? And I'm like, oh, I think it's like New Haven style pizza, uh, which is the best. It is the best. Honestly, it's so good. Um, we also talked a lot last week about chat. G GBT. P <laughs> T, which people called me out for last week. Yeah. Our Did you see the comments from the teachers? Yes, that's what I was about to read. Okay. So there are quite a few ideas. teachers telling us because we were talking about how like, oh my gosh, now that we have all these AI robots, people, do they just like, f like use AI to write every paper and like cheat on everything? And yeah. how do uh, teachers tell? So teachers, a bunch of teachers wrote in, which by the way, teachers, you are like the superheroes of America. I feel like. I, I, feel like I stand with teachers. Teachers are incredible and they are not paid enough and they're not respected enough and they just get treated like poo, I feel like. And I just it makes me so upset because they're literally the educators of everyone They're I, I just love teachers. Anyway, teach um, a lot of teachers wrote in. So I'm saying thank you to all the teachers for what you do. And also for writing comments about this. But um, this comment says from Sam high school, English teacher here. I've had so many flipping issues with freaking chat GPT and the kids using it. It's pretty, it's usually pretty obvious because the kids who tend to use it are the kids who can barely write a paragraph, let alone an essay. So it tends to sound way more mature and advanced than the kid, the kid's ability, actual ability. If the kids are smart, they'll ask chat GPT to dumb down the essay or make it sound like a 15 year old wrote it. It was such a pain in my butt last year. Now I don't allow kids to write essays at home 
or with computers or cell phones. They have to do it by hand unless they have sort of condition that they need one. So I know it's literally them writing it. I give them a couple days of prep to be prepared, but on the days of writing paper and pen, baby. Oh, I'm just thinking about the hand cramps. Writing a full paper by hand. As a lefty, I'm thinking about like how the entire, this side of my hand would would be all pencil ink. Yeah. All pencil ink or or pen ink. Um, I... Good. That's a way to solve that problem. And good for you. And and thank you for being a teacher. Um, I hated essay writing days. I despise those days when they did. And remember like those little blue, like light blue notebooks that wasn't like really a notebook. It was like, yeah. it's like a little thin, mm-hmm. like as those little essay books. Oof. Those are, that was brutal to me. I'm like, how? I didn't mind. What? Because I think because I talk so much, <laughs> I can fill a page with them. I, I wasn't good at it. I was not a good essay writer, but I could. Yeah. I could fill a page. I and there'd could be like tests where the test was like, yeah, like a live essay. Crazy. Oh, a live essay. I could fill it about the most random and fail it. But like, <laughs> just be like, this story was about, and I do like a sentence and be like, and what a funny thing about cats is that. Gosh. I can, <laughs> um, I can remember throwing in the towel on a few of those just being like, I can't. You yeah. know what I mean? Just. Well, another another teacher wrote in uh-huh. and said, uh, as Michelle, she said, another high school English teacher here, the people who make the AI websites also help make the AI detectors. We have programs like Turnitin and Writable that have plagiarism and AI detectors to flag suspicious essays. I also have my students write in class so I can offer help as they write. We're not paying these people enough as it is. And they, now know. they have to like, how do you run an essay through? a? I know. And they have to, they have to, I'm sure they have to pay for that, you know? Oh my gosh. Yeah. But isn't that um, crazy? I, so I AI is that. fighting AI in this sense. I guess so. That's interesting. I guess so. Um, um, then there's a lot of people okay. saying that we should uh, go to Sonic was a lot of comments that I read. And um, one last one. Making me hungry. Dancing Daisy, which love the name considering Daisy made an appearance today, said, question for you guys. If Eric was on board with getting another cat, hmm. Mm-hmm, uh, what potential name? What would potential names be? My little buddy is named Philly Cheese Steak. Silly cat names are my fave, and I love this question because I don't know what I would name our next cat that we're probably going to get very soon. Philly Cheese Steak sounds great right now. I don't like Philly Cheese Steaks. What? I know. Have you ever I'm had one from say uh, that. those t- two famous places yes, that are right I across definitely the street from have. I was and, on. Uh, yes, I have. I've been a couple times. I went to the, um, I went to Philly with Rachel on tour a bajillion years ago. It was just when me and Rachel were touring alone, and um, but like back in the comedy club days. How did you get it? Uh, we walked there from our hotel. No, I mean, how did you? I got it. However, it said it with, to get. It. I was like, whiz? whatever the way it was. Yeah. I said like the classic way. I was like, I want whatever is like the uh-huh. most popular classic one. And I didn't like it. Yeah. You're not a big fan of like meat or cheese. Uh, well, depends. Depends on the meat, depends on the cheese. But yeah. But um, I like this question because we should get a cat is what I'm saying. But also. Did you, did you notice me trying to change the subject? Yeah, I did notice. I'm bringing it back. Subway kind of also, made a good Philly cheese. that's a wild statement that you just made. And you're only saying that to rile me up to stop talking about a cat. <laughs> uh, they can but be good. They can anyway, be I love i saw a tiktok the other day or instant reel or something of someone saying like giving cats human or pets human names is so great and i totally agree but they said but there's some people who don't get it because there are cat there are human names to give your cat or your dog that are very funny Mm -hmm. and then there's human names to give your cat or dog they're just like normal for like a cat or a dog. Gonna, and so people don't get it. End up apologizing for this next week. No, 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 no. Like, so name a funny, like it'd be funny to name a cat like Cheryl. Yeah, that's kind of funny. It's Cheryl. No, but like, no, but like, I don't um, know. Just what popped I feel like head. Greg is a funny yeah. pet name. Well, give me, like, give me one that's not where they, um, they don't get it. Like, oh, oh like a, a Sally is like a dog name. I feel uh-huh. like, you know, like a, there's names, there's human my, names that you can name a, a pet name. and it's not funny. Yeah. But it's like, also you can name a dog that and it's not, it's not like, haha. Like, haven't you ever heard of someone oh, naming a, a pet, a human name? And it's so funny. Like I always try to do that when the kids find uh, bugs, like, cause Wesley's very into like, what is that mama? He'll say, what name is it? Uh-huh. And he's asking me what kind of bug it is. Right. But when he says, what name is it? I always give it a name. And so the other day we saw like this little green leaf bug That's gonna and he's like, what name is it, mommy? And I said, Fred, because it's like a funny con- name for that confuse- little bug. Like, conf- that's confusing. How funny would it be he's if that's if that bugs- all bugs are Fred's? 
No, I'm just saying, how funny is it if, like, that's, Bugs' uh, name is actually Fred? Like, I Fred's don't find a funny Fred name. funny, no. You don't think that's a funny name for a pet? A good... Fred? Do you think anyone's ever named a cat Eric? That's a funny name for a cat. That's a very funny name for Colleen's a cat. a funny name for a human. Okay. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but come on. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you understand? I understand. So name, say a I funny get name. comedy. Say a funny name for a, a cat and an unfunny, just like, yeah, it's just a name. Like, what's a funny one? Like, um, <laughs> you think Cheryl is funny? Yeah, I don't know. Like, like Tobias to me would not be funny. No, I don't think that's funny. No, but like because it's, like, it's like trying. It needs to be. Like, it, means, it needs to be like well, Robert. Maybe, but if you even named Robert's your, a funny name for a cat. Yeah, but if you named your cat Tobias, also like good, that's good. You're but like good. Felicia would be like fine. You know, it's not funny. It's not anything. It's just kind of like you know. Um. Uh huh. Gus. Gus. Did is you a, think that was funny? No, I did not think that was funny. That seemed like were a you, pet name. Were you doing a bit when you named no, that cat it Gus? Seemed, no, it seemed like a pet name. I wanted to pick a name that was like, because his name is Augustus. I want, he seemed so regal and so pretty that I wanted a pretty name, but he was such a derp that I wanted to be able to call him like something derpy too. So it was like, his name is Augustus, whoa, whoa, but we call whoa, him whoa, Gus whoa. Gus. You're coming at, you're saying Gus is a derpy name? No, not like derp. For, for Gus, it is. For our cat, it is. Gus for Gus. a human. Because I was thinking of Gus Gus from Cinderella. The little mouse is like Gus Gus. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Like, so we call him Gus Gus. You know? Mm -hmm. So no, that one was not a funny, like, this is a human name that I'm naming my cat to be so funny. I don't, I don't think you're getting it. I get it. But you won't participate. I, I participated. I've given out multiple names for animals. How, you, you don't think it? It's like super funny when people give their yeah, pets I think it's human hilarious. names? Like Frank. No, Frank's not. Frank's not funny. <laughs> it's making me laugh. You're laughing? <laughs> because it's that's Frank not... the cat. Frank? Like, I don't think I would think that was funny if you named a cat um, Frank. Why were people always naming cats Felix? I don't know. But see, that one's not funny. See? Is Mickey funny for a mouse? No. <laughs> that's a mouse name. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey is a mouse name? Okay. Come on. Come on. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, what, do you want, what do you want from me? Um, if we got a cat and we mm -hmm. named it, um, let me see here. <laughs> uh, you didn't like Carl? Did no, I because, say Carl? Carl, because there's a book like Carl the dog. So it's like oh, already there? known as like a dog name. Like okay. uh, oh, it, here's the, here's the, here's the concept. The concept is it's funny when you give a cat or a dog a name that they have no business having. Yes. Like. And a, a very human name that animals do not have. That's what's funny about it. So you have to think of a name that like. I like nouns for for cat names. Tonight. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. Like, like they did with the cheesecake thing. Yeah, that's name great. That's a great name Arca for cat. You know who'd be way better than. The Daisy is not a funny name for ask, a cat. Lots of animals have the name Daisy. Flynn this question. He's way better at naming that's not things. The that's not the point, though. I got him. A, I got a. <sighs> You're just changing the subject here. To, I got him a. Thing, pet thing, and and uh, he goes, he goes, what's his name? Bob. Okay, is that funny? And then he goes, well, there's two of them, and, he, and I go, what's the other one's name? He goes, Bobo. Yeah, <laughs> Bob Bob's and Bobo. Good. Like to have a cat named Bob would be kind of funny, I guess. Uh huh. I don't think we're on the same wavelength. We're having a conversation about <laughs> human names for pets. I don't understand why, how I'm failing so hard at it. I'm, it's, what are you're you not, you're actually to the not, table? You're actually not failing at it. What is happening is I'm failing at explaining this. You're correctly. not. I understand. No, I don't think you do. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I... I don't know. So just you want me to just keep saying names no, for I pets that are like, human names but are also funny? Yeah, like, but just keep going. I, you don't have to do any of it. I just want to get a cat. What would you? What, what would you name the cat? I don't know. Because Flynn would want to name it Pancake. You know, that's a great name for a cat. Um, but you're saying we should name it Jeff. Jeff's a good like. I feel like Jeff's a good name for like a reptile. Like yeah, that's funny. That's good. Like a lizard named Jeff is yeah. funny to me. If you had like a yeah, a cat named a Jeff is kind of funny too. Actually, a that's good. Named Jeff. Jeff's a good funny cat name. <laughs> yeah, Jeff's good. Why does this work for certain names? <laughs> I don't know. That's what's. <laughs> Do that's I get what, it? Yes, you get it. See, that's what I was trying to get to. Is like there's some names that are just funny. It, like there's some human names that are just funny if you give them to All a right. pet, and there's some that are just like, yeah, that's a name. 
Like Daisy, mm. we have a cat named Daisy. That's just like a name it's for a cat. Funny. Like it's no, it's certainly not funny. It's just like a name that an animal could have. Yeah. Same um, with Gus. Like it's just no. A name. I'm not getting, I don't think we should get another cat. So just so well, you can name it. So well, it's not just so we can Honestly, name it. It's just it's not so we could name it. It's so for happiness. Th- things things like that. If it's if it brings you joy, and it's something that you're going to take care of. Mm-hmm. Litter box. Mm-hmm. Um, and it and I think. You just do it. I don't think you need, you don't need my approval. You don't need me to be on board. I think you just do it. Um, what's going on? What? <laughs> I want you to be happy. I am happy. I want I you happy. And you know what I mean? And if, and if, and if like, I, I love animals and if it's like, you know, that's kind of, if, uh, if, Oh my God, are we about if to get you, a cat? If, if you're like, if you're like, oh, there's this thing, but I don't know if like Eric wants to do that. Blah, blah, blah. No, do it. Just, just, and just do it. You don't need my, you don't need that. My approval. To Are have you about a cat? to get a, is this because you're, there's a pet you want and you want me to get a cat so then you can get whatever. No, no I'm just, no, I'm just a, just a nice What's guy. What's happening? I'm scared, but <laughs> I think we might be getting a cat. What are you, what are you going to name it? Jeff? Uh, I don't know. If you, yeah. I'm just kind of flabbergasted right I don't, now. I don't know why you ever thought I had the power to stop you from getting a cat. <laughs> I don't funny. know where that came from. It's not that. It's that like, I want to make sure that like, if we're bringing another life into our home, that we both are a hundred percent on board because it's a big deal to get a pet. It's not like a, just a, yeah, just get it, whatever. It's like a yeah. did life. And we want to take really good care of all of our pets. So yeah. I just want to make sure we are both a hundred percent on board before doing something like that. Yeah. I would say the two cats, we do have are Persian cats and I've found that that the maintenance there, yeah, there's a is lot a, of grooming. It's a little more problematic than um, the cats I had because I grew up with like cats. We we had three cats usually when mm-hmm. I, in my house when um, when I was growing up, but and there were like you know just cat cats. They weren't yeah. they weren't anything. Um, I can, couldn't tell you what breed yeah. they were. Um, and these seem to be high maintenance. They are lots so, of lots of vet doctor visits and lots of um, you know hair care. Oh, we gotta go. We have to go right now. Our babysitter needs to go. Oh, we got to go. But thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. Leave comments so we can read them uh, again. (laughs) Okay, bye. Bye.